God bless you. I greet each and every one of you in the blessed uh, name of our Lord Jesus Christ and take this chance to welcome you, each and every one, every one of you, in the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ. We we'll welcome even as we go before him to praise him with all that is within our hearts. Let us start even with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, how we come before thy throne of grace and throne of mercy, thanking you for your goodness, for giving us yet another day that we would live for the Lord, for even you died for us at Calvary, that we might live for the Lord. And we know, even as I was listening to the message this morning, Something has to die, Father Lord, physically speaking, for another to live. And Father, you die that we may not only live, but live eternally. As those who believe in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Father Lord, we thank you for revealing yourself to us, for making known of thy goodness, of thy mercy. And therefore we come with thanksgiving even in our hearts, thanking you for this day that even as we start, even in the fellowship, even in the songs of hymns and uh, psalms, that they may be even be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Even as you say in your word, where two or three are gathered, even in thy name, you will privilege them with your presence. We are asking for your presence to move freely. Those who may not be feeling well or uh, bound in worry and another or another, Father Lord, you may come, Father Lord, and take charge. We thank you, even as we commit everything, even those who are connecting remotely, may you be with them. Even as the blessings fall on us, may it also fall on them, Father Lord. We thank you in all, committing every worship into your hands, even as we start in the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. As usual, we shall read from the book of First uh, Peter, verse... Uh, first Peter uh, second uh, we shall read verse 24 first Peter second chapter verse 24 let us all read together and we shall read who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness by, his, by whose stripes ye are healed. We go to the next verse. For ye were a sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and the bishop of your souls. Amen. Let's repeat verse 24 of us together as we raise our voice. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. Amen. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Amen. I hear the Savior say, I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is more. Yeah. 
tree for your sake and for my sake. Amen. Precious memories, how they linger. Amen. Precious memories, unseen angels, sent from somewhere to my
Christmas, we have seen his star, which is uh, the end time message. Amen. Uh, there are several song requests, uh, which will give them a chance to praise the Lord. Uh, there is this one from Shaina. Uh, it says, God bless you, saints. We'd like to sing a song for the glory of God. I'll give them a chance to come forward.
born to serve the Lord. Amen. Ah, Sister Marilyn. God bless you. Good morning. Um, this is going to be some poetry. Uh, this is about uh, the little owl poem. And I have a little illustration of it, if anyone can see. This is a little owl here, and he's, he's like, you know, smiling and uh, some, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Um, so this is a tribute 
to the little owl found in the Rockefeller Christmas tree in New York. The name was Rocky, and they gave him a little sweater to keep him warm. And they found a nice wildlife uh, place for Rocky to live. And then they discovered the owl was a she, a female. Okay. So this is the poem. But this is an old poem that I wrote a very long time ago, and it seems to somehow fit in. Um, owl. In the solid oak tree, there sits the wise owl. He was waiting in his dark hollow for a long time. He smiled. He frowned, winked at the world, smirked, grinned, and didn't care. But now he has discovered himself. Who? Who? A wise older owl, he still sits, but meditates and often thinks. And this is the second poem, which I wrote uh, in October 2020, very recently. And this I would uh, put in a, a nonsense poem. It's one of those nonsense poems. Um, the title is Quirks of Life That May Throw You Off. When I turn to dust, all my dreams become temporary reminding me of what I could have done, what I should have done, could have, should have. Life is a learning experience, a temporary one, but two temporaries can become one permanent fun run, when in time you can go off and rhyme, gear yourself and drive through the fun run, rain or sun, anytime, anytime. There is heaven before you, waiting for you to do, to do. I see you. Heaven is looking at you. Thank you. Even, uh, God bless you. Heaven is really waiting for us, and we can also wait to even go there. And we also know Christ is the rock. Just as that little owl hides in the rock, we hide ourselves even in the rock, which is Christ, the Word. Amen. I have one song to sing, and then we shall be welcoming the minister. Amen. When my way grow with joy, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand lest I fall, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home, precious Lord. My hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to thy light. Take my hand, precious Lord. Shadows appear and the light draw it near and the day is past and gone at the river stand guide my feet hold my hand take my hand precious Lord Lead me home, precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I am weak, I am worn, through the storm, through the night. 
Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your kindness and we thank you for what you have given us, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for these tithes as people have pitched in their money to help the church and help you, Lord. We thank you for them and we ask that you will bless this money, Lord, and that this money will only go to the things needed for the church and not our personal needs, Lord. Lord, we thank you for everyone who was able to make it today, Lord. Thank you for people on their way. We thank you for Brother Dennis, Lord, as he's on his way to Nigeria right now, Lord. We thank you for the flight. We ask that the flight will be guided safely there and nothing bad will happen, Lord. Everyone on the flight won't be a terrorist or anything, Lord. Everyone on the flight will be good people and they'll be able to get there safe, Lord. And we ask that Dennis will be able to bring our message to the people in Nigeria, Lord. And even say hello to my grandmother, Lord, for us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for my father as he's in the back preparing the message, Lord. We ask that you will bless him. And we ask that you will come through and you will speak to him, Lord, to give us the message and all of us become better Christians than you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for everyone who has a job, Lord. We ask that everyone who has a job, you'll help them with their time, with other jobs, so that everyone will be able to stay here and will be able to eat, Lord. We'll be able to stay in the back and talk about you even more, Lord, so they don't have to rush and hurry to go to the Lord and go to our church, Lord. And we pray this, believe in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you for the wonderful word of prayer. I request we stand even as we sing this song, Living by Faith in Jesus Above. As the minister comes, I hope you have prepared yourselves even to receive the word. Amen. Great. 
and the word comes even to those who have the faith. We'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work till Jesus comes. Oh, Oh, uh -huh.